I know the Hamptons probably a hundred times better than my colleagues. I grew up in the Hamptons. My father's been a builder in the Hamptons for over 30 years. I was exposed to this really unique market at a very young age. I think the pressure from my family to be successful keeps the fire going underneath me and keeps the pressure on. And I'm at the point where I'm looked at as one of the top agents out here. In the last 18 months, I've done around $75 million worth of real estate transactions. The market's hot, but this is when people are out here. It's right now. It's from Memorial Day to Labor Day. And there's a significant drop off after that. There's no cushion of a salary. It's all commission. Commission is everything. Stunning. This is my pride and joy. Love it. Jeff Allen is a principal in a development company that has been building homes in Southampton for a long time. This is his latest baby. A lot of the other properties I represent and have sold to date are under $10 million. That's sort of my bread and butter. If I can sell a $20 million property three years into the business out here at 30 years old, I will then be looked at as a top agent in the Hamptons. Hey. Hey, Ash. You guys know each other. I know right? you. Thank Welcome. You. How are you? How are you? Are you working with Dad? I am. Awesome. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. Last Good to summer. see you. Yeah. It's great to see you. I have to leave, but you're in good hands. She's gonna give you a tour of the house. Great. Fantastic. I know Ashley, we both grew up in Southampton and she's great. Did I expect that she'd be giving me the tour today and not Jeff? Not necessarily. Ashley comes out of nowhere sometimes, so I I'm not too surprised to see that she's here. This is the, uh, the bedroom. The actual no. bedroom. The primary. You can get lost in this, yeah. this wing over here. So far, I'm pretty much in love, to be honest. With what, the house or? Uh, yeah, the house. <laughs> I think Ashley would describe our relationship uh, more not business and maybe an opportunity to date. I see that, I'm good at reading people, but I'm not about to start mixing business and pleasure, especially on a $20 million listing. I feel like over the last few months, we've seen a lot of agents from different markets come out to the Hamptons because they see this market as somewhere where they can make a quick money grab and get a few deals done quickly. Little do they know that's not the case. You have to be ingrained in this market for years in order to make an impact and get deals done. I went to see Sandcastle the other day. The famous that, Sandcastle. That property is incredible. I was, I was like just arriving and then going into the house, I was like, whoa. I was like, I kept saying whoa the whole time. We even jumped in the pool. Really? That's awesome. My initial reaction is, what the <laughs> I'm the Nest Seekers rep for Sandcastle. Either he is completely oblivious to who represents what properties in the Hamptons, or he's deliberately bypassing the rightful representative on those properties. Either way, it doesn't work out in the Hamptons. I've been preparing to represent a property like this for a long time. I decided to make this a very intimate event. This is a customized experience for VIP clients that may purchase this home. So this event's all about a tight-knit, niche kind of experience for my clients, which I'm hoping will impress Jeff. Here we are, 51 Pheasant Lane, guys. A block away from the ocean, three minutes to Main Street. I love the island in the kitchen. This yeah, I got these really pendants cool. here. So these were brought in from England. So they're part of like the industrial revolution to make the aesthetic of the kitchen. A seamless yeah, transition into the living room. The event is going really well. And I think I did everything I can to impress Jeff and impress my clients who are here today. We have a deal, 60 days. This is the best case scenario. Honestly, did not think I'd be getting this listing today. I want to make Southpaw Custom Home Development a, a bigger name in this market. I need you to help me make that come true. Well, I'm happy to be a, right. a brand ambassador on behalf of Southpaw. You're cool. the best. Thanks, Thank you. JB. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Let's go.
The summer has been insane for me. I've done deal after deal after deal, and I'm tired. But the commission checks, they'll take care of that. Property, Montauk's in contract. The Noyak properties are in contract. And four million, a little Noyak path in contract. And then we are now in a true offer and acceptance on the glass house with Michael's client. It's been the best year I've ever had in business, period. But right now, it's about closing out the summer by building on this momentum and gaining new business. So I'm here today to show Matt, Peggy's client, Oceanfront Properties. I think Peggy maybe has been too busy worrying about the duck pond situation. It seems like Matt may have been put on the back burner. I just happen to be the person they're waiting for. Look at this. Matt Bruderman called me while we're on the boat to ask if we could see some homes together. I apologize, I know it's kind of last minute. I know it's real hard to line stuff up. But if you can find some things, I'd love something on the ocean. Let me see if I can line up two or three to really make it worth your while. I know I have to loop in Peggy on this. Time hasn't been right, but I promise when the time is right, I will loop her in. Thanks for putting this together of last course, man. Man, for Absolutely. Me, Hey, JP. What's going on, guys? What's the uh, completion date, do you know? So they're thinking spring next year, so in for summer. But, you know, this is a four-bedroom home, 180 views. You're going to have ocean views from the second floor and then the roof deck. And then also, you're right out to uh, Shinnecock Bay here. I think it's definitely a contender. I was going to just kind of look, but I think the access to the ocean views are awesome. Um, if we do something, you guys will work out commissions or whatever. Yeah, we well, do. I think I'll have a side conversation with Peggy. We're not All right, good, you know, good. taking her away, but it's just show you guys some properties, you know. Appreciate just to get a feel, yeah, get a feel for it. That's how Matt goes from being just Peggy's client to being Peggy and JB's client. I guess you'll figure that out. Figure it out. Thanks again for yeah, coming thank out. You. We'll be hanging out soon. Absolutely, anytime, guys. Moments here. It's arrived. After a lot of hard work and time and energy and talking Jeff off a ledge, we've put a $20 million deal in the contract. It's amazing. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. I guess you're a superhero. Unreal. We Good got enough. the number. Pretty like You got the number. number. We're going to do this again. It's my man. So now this is your first $20 million set? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at you. That's a big shot. If you sell one of his homes and make him happy on the first one, you ensure yourself of his business going forward. So I'm ecstatic. It means repeat business. It means more dollar signs. I'll speak to you guys later. Sounds we'll good. stay in touch, JB. Thanks, Jeff. This is a big moment for myself. I'm proud of myself. My family has earned a lot of respect in this town from my dad's background in development. And I've always kind of rode on those coattails, but now this is mine. This is me.